Hi there, I'm Borja the Gay Explorer and welcome to my drag makeover. I like naughty things. <laughs> this thing is in shape her chest. <laughs> Hello, the Gay Explorer. How are you? Good, baby. Give me a hug. Mwah. So we're here at the W Amsterdam, and I have the honor to be with Miss Envy Peru. Yay! So today, I'm gonna get my first ever drag makeover. Oh yes, you're gonna look fabulous. I promise you. You better. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be my daughter, so <laughs> you need to look good. Before we get into my drag, let's talk about your drag. Where does your name, Miss Envy Peru, come from? I'm Peruvian, obviously, Envy Peru. And one of my friends said, I, I want to call my daughter Neva Envy. And I thought, Neva, no. Envy, yes. <laughs> Envy is like envious, you know? Yeah. I wanted to show him with my drag that a Peruvian it's more than a pen flute and a llama, you know? I want to show in my drag that a Peruvian can also be a fabulous, glamorous creature. Yeah. That's why Envy Peru. I've been always been inspired by 90s supermodels, about the disco era, but also about the yeah. future. Quite diverse, actually. I don't have like one specific style, but you will always recognize the face. With this beautiful face, how do you think we should get another beautiful face over mm -hmm. here? With the hands. I think I'm a bit nervous because I've never done it, so maybe a cocktail would do. There's always time for a cocktail, dear. Cheers oh, to that. Thank you. How did you do that? Mm. Tomato juice is good for something. Is it something naughty? I like naughty things. <laughs> <laughs> so with this in mind, shall we head to the makeover station? Yes, please. I'm excited. Follow me then. Ooh. I need to get up like a lady. <laughs> this is where the magic's gonna happen. We changed the white t-shirt for a white bathrobe. Mm -hmm. And now I'm in your hands. First, I need to take this gloves off though. <laughs> because painting and gloves ain't gonna happen. Mm -mm. It's not working. You excited? Yes. Good. You need to put your wig cap on. Perfect. Do you mind? Yeah, let's do this. All right. It's not a joke. <laughs> I'll be right back. First, wig cap. Can you help me? To, can you do that like this? Two fingers yeah. in the air? I'm not gonna go back. <laughs> Gorgeous. <laughs> After shaving, mm -hmm. and with this lift, I'm like 14 again. Oh, let me tell you though, did you shave? Last time I shaved, yeah. it was uh, four years ago, over four years. Four years? Yeah. Is it looking good? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's do this. So cute. All right, let's start to cover a little bit of the gray tones in your face. This is the first time for me painting in drag, though. Yeah? So, yeah. I once had, once had a, a photo shoot for a magazine, and we were doing drag photos and yeah. boy photos. And then this makeup artist wanted to do my makeup, but I'm a makeup artist too. So I was yeah. like, no, no bother, I know my face. I can do it myself. No, I need to do it. <laughs> <laughs> the first time you had your drag makeup done, did mm -hmm. you do it yourself? It's a long, long time ago. And we're, they were looking for dancers. Uh, they need to be in drag. And my boyfriend was one of the dancers on that boat. So he asked me, would you like to be on that float too? Only condition is you need to be in drag and you need to dance. And I was like, oh, let's do it. I just love it. 96% of alcohol. I don't know if it's allowed on the skin. I don't care. <laughs> it's happening. It's happening anyway. I'm so curious what your reaction is going to be when you see yourself without a brow. Oh, believe me, so am I. <laughs> Wait, you're not waxing them off. Right? No. Oh. <laughs> I already feel like I have so much makeup on. <laughs> Just prime, girl. <laughs> you can see. Yeah, it looks like the glue you use at school. This one, yes, yeah. this is the Elmer's glue. This is the traditional, all the drag queens use it. Don't worry, you're gonna look fabulous. I hope. <laughs> this is gonna be your new skin. Mom is giving me new skin. Yes. Did you ever perform? No, 
the closest I got was when I was a child, maybe wearing my mom's heels at some point. Yeah. But other than that, uh, all the gay much. kids does that. Yeah. <laughs> Just wanted to try the heels. Yeah. Now we're highlighting. Okay. Yeah, I have a very big nose. You know what to say about big noses? Okay, look up now. Good. Hmm? I have no expression no. on my face. Beat <laughs> in the face. Well, you, you see, I like a full lip. The lip helped me to get into the character and the fantasy, yes. The first time I painted myself in drag was 2013. I've never thought in my life that I would ever be a drag queen. I quietly started at home practicing my makeup, buying some cheap ass wigs. <laughs> I feel this is like your favorite part. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be that guy. I was always like in the gym, working out, being this mask for mask. Then yeah, I came to Amsterdam and I was exposed to, to so much openness and diversity. And uh, I don't care how you look like now, if you have a good personality. There's a lot of competition in the well, drag scene. I'm not competing with anybody. <laughs> 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 no, we're sisters, you know? Yeah. We should support each other and lift each other up. I think every guy should try drag once. Straight, gay, yeah. bi. It's just very fun to see what happens. Don't be afraid of your feminine side. Yeah, so at school I was one of the more feminine guys. Yes. And therefore I was bullied for that many times. For being feminine? Yeah. And it was at a point that I didn't even know about my sexuality, yeah. what it was, what I liked. Yeah. yeah. But then the minute that you start growing and you develop as a person is when you understand no, I should open myself again and explore and yeah. this is where we are now. When I was in school as well, people were calling me uh, are you a girl, are you a boy, are you gay? Or yeah. And I was like finding out if I was gay. I didn't even yeah. know I was gay. So that was quite a journey for me as well and then it was obvious at one point. But my mom did, didn't see it coming. Yeah? Yeah. When I came out she was like totally surprised. Did she take it better now? Yeah, she's my biggest fan. Okay. Oh, it doesn't recognize me. Mine does recognize me. I find it creepy. So, since you're the first one putting makeup on me, mm -hmm. would that be that you're like my drag mother? Well, that's what they say, but I think a drag mother is somebody who learns you all the tricks about drag, you know? But I took your drag virginity. Yes, you did. <laughs> You know, I've got two fabulous drag mothers. Yes, you can have two. Yeah. <laughs> and what does it actually mean? A drag house, well, it doesn't mean that you are li literally living with each other yeah. in a house, uh, but you're just a group. A, yeah. group. a group of drag queens that like to perform together. So many brushes. Yes. I got <laughs> something, I just got lost. Why is it? Why? Oh, there it is. You know, sometimes you go from gig to gig and you wanna yeah. do an other color and the brush is dirty. I'd rather have a lot of things double yeah. and then clean it. Yeah, with pride you don't have any choice. How does it work for the gigs that you get? Is it through like bookings? Do they contact you directly? Yeah, most of the time they contact me directly. They ask for my uh, availability. And if I'm available, yeah, then we can start negotiating. <laughs> Off the pile. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Getting my cheeky saddle ready mm -hmm. on this. Mm -hmm. I feel it. Get a little bit more plastic. Yes. Harder. Sometimes I can, sometimes I don't. Break. No, I'm not gonna burn. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're almost done. And then you see the hairy arm. <laughs> Destroy the whole illusion. <laughs> the last step, setting the makeup. With some good setting spray. Because you want your makeup to look fresh and clean. Yeah. And last the whole night if you're going through the gigs. Are we ready for costume and hair? We're ready. 
Let's go. It's so difficult. I cannot look anywhere. It's full with mirrors here, but don't look. Let's pick the dress. I think there's just one option. This thing didn't shave her chest. So we need to cover that. I think that gold one will be a nice option. First, we need to give you some little bit of boobies yeah. and maybe give a little of a waist. Like, <laughs> oh. I think we should go. It's more of a blonde brown or a gold one. Gold jewels and gold shoes. Yes, that's a good option. So let's get ready for the final reveal. Yes. Okay. All right. I'm gonna get your boobies. The moment you've been all been waiting for, the big reveal. Are you ready, my daughter? I am. She hasn't seen herself yet, so I'm getting emotional. I'm gonna count to three, and then you turn around and see yourself, my daughter. Are you ready? Yes. One, two, three. Wow. What do you think? This is so overwhelming. <laughs> Hi, I'm Borka the Gay Explorer, and if you like this video, remember to click like, comment below, or subscribe. If you want to explore more, then go check out my channel and follow me on social media. Thanks for watching!